as, a, as another massive meatball, but maybe they were concerned about their damage output. And I guess one of the advantages of Renekton is eventually you will get outscaled, but into a Yone uh, for a good portion of the mid game. The only problem is Niski here. Did he just lean around the corner and smite that? Wait. He did? Why? Now the <laughs> enemy has blue buff. Giant X on the collapse, though. Isma stuck around for too long. The pull back! Hits him with the scorpion! Get over here, baby! It's Patrick all, with first blood. It's all about the buff delivery system, Dracos. Big That's why. Ready to go fishing. Level 5 for Jackie's. Q3 has faded away. Yone not going to feel super impactful in this fight unless they can really draw it out. Peach in the area wants to get in. Will not be able to grab the objective. Has just committed so much. Now crashing down out. Ignore with a solid hook. It should just be one more kill. Das is so damn squishy. Ball up there from Jackie's to lock it down. Kill crucially not going over to the Draven. But Niski now trying to set up to punish Jackie's. He's walking him down. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing here for Niski. Yeah, he's not going to have enough time to secure that kill. Really wants to get two here, ideally. Patrick now stepping up on the bottom side. Head nice pole combo coming through. Empowered auto going to be there as well, but Patrick does have the cleanse. Steps into the bush. Very well timed to deny, but instead they're just going to set their sights on Ignar. Patrick going to need to win a 2v1, but the exhaust coming in just in time. Meanwhile, on the top side of the map, Peach going in and going right back out. Jackie's trying to find the angle. Push back there. Soul unbound. Going to bring him right back to that starting point. No ult for Odawame means no follow-up for the side of GX. I mean, SK definitely here to play. They found a really nice 2v2 kill. 300 gold, give or take. So the fact that he's able to keep his life is big. In the meantime, though, SK just continue to stack these dragons. And again, when we talk about front to back, you have to feel like it favors SK. So the fact that they're able to walk in and get a few of these early objectives is big for them as we move later into the game. We'll play that by SK to get out. Got a Jackie. His red buff will slowly but surely heal him up. And SK doing a really good job of playing for these cooldowns. They don't mean anything until they're able to find the angle to pull in onto Das. Immediately he's going to ult Isma over the wall as well. In come the roots. Patrick still untouched on the backside. Keep your eyes on that Draven. His damage has to make the difference. Jackie's queuing over the wall, managing to find three. Snapping back. The exhaust is there. Odawamne only ulting onto Irrelevant, who will just barely stay standing. Cold the meek healing, coming in clutch. Isma finding the kill. Discipline from SK to not give a single inch to the side of GX. The objective is still up. Peach is still standing. They could look to take it away. Jackie's ready to go forward. But instantly, they take him out of the equation. The Herald dropping to SK Gaming. A very disjointed fight from Giant X. Patient. More spells than that to find the kill. Giant X looking to contest third Drake here. Irrelevant, crucially on the flank. Isma ulti up and available. 5k, objective getting lower. Alkyalti moving into the pit, going to try to isolate multiple members, and Isma quick to follow up. And now it's Odawamne in the midst of absolutely nobody, only finding the jungler, with the objective already dropping in the favor of GX. Niski, though, still untouched on the backside, the second ultimate to go completely wide. Patrick, last man standing alongside Ignar. Surely there's no way the Draven can make this happen. Absolutely not. The soldier's doing so much work. Patrick sent running. SK again. Discipline and control in the fight. Giant X will secure the objective, but it is X. I mean, yep, yeah, SK have done a really good job of coming back into these team fights. Now, now the Isma pressure will start to mount. Finding the angle, climbs up for Patrick, but Isma still able to find the knockback. Immediate follow-up coming in from DOS. They are ruthless. As they move into the jungle, they find that kill. They're not going to get the pullback, but it does not matter. There is no foot or overcommitting resources to try to find an angle back in. Jackie's on side here. The e Fantastic E back. Fate Seal going, can going to miss! Oh, that's oh for a three, that's crushing! Niski is ruthless! I mean, I Niski obviously with the death cap and the Nashers to uh, Kraken into bits and pieces from Jackie's. He's mostly going to be about the alt Odo, Odo. and the CC, but Odo might have found the angle. Doss immediately trying to interrupt the fight. Niski still locked up on the backside. Niski still standing, trying to find the angle, and they're just too damn strong. How is Azir alive? Follow-up kill here as well, but that will just be the Baron for SK. Only Desperation steals left in the cards for the side of GX. Such a huge opportunity that couldn't turn into anything for Giant X. Odoamne thought that he had caught Niski out. A great response from DOS. Kind of shuts down any potential follow-up. Niski survives. Mostly a walking alt bot, unless he could find an angle onto the back line. X Slash from Peach just going to take him out. Nice ult. I like this a lot from Isma. Just creating that zone control. They're even looking for a fight. Classic Maokai. You saw it all last year, but now the engage actually fumbled a little bit as Isma forced to back away. That's one kill coming through. 
Inhibitor's still down in favor of SK. They're still winning for now, but maybe GX can continue to push for more because Odawamne is on the top side looking to break open the base, looking to trade back, looking to fire back. As much as we praised SK for their coordination, a single moment where it laps is going to cost them. Choosing not to overstay. SK will be able to beginning the siege. Pull oh, back onto Dots. Bit of poke. As long as they don't overcommit here, this is big. Oh, Niski's just melting that tower. Now, rinse and repeat here. That's the ulti coming in. SK Let's taking Odo, the time, Odo. but it's Odo on a flank. This could be massive. Again, Odo, flash available. Rocket Belt taking his time, waiting. More members on the way. We're actually coming in. What are they waiting for? I guess the inhibitor's already gone. Odo, Rocket Belt's four. Peach now going in. He's got the movement speed steroid. He's going to find one with the stun. Knockback is there. Odo's still waiting over the wall. Hasn't found an angle into the fight. Patrick remains untouched. He doesn't need boots. Still doing so much work in there. Finally, he's Odawan into the backside, but he's exhausted. The stopwatch comes in a little bit late, and the ultimate just does not do anything, but Patrick just continues to throw down auto attacks left and right. Keep your eyes on that Draven. Niski gets the pushback, and that is massive because Exa Kick is still standing. SK taking the fight. I thought that it was over when Patrick got that kill onto Niski, but Exa Kick, the other carry that was untouched. SK clean up. They've got four kills. Only Ignar stands in their way, and I don't think he's going to be enough. Clean game from SK, turning things around after some rough early kills go down in the favor of GX. They bring it back completely in their favor, out executing, punishing the mistakes of GX and finding the win, bringing themselves up to four and one. Incredible performance. I mean, yeah, there were some blunders in the early game. They were getting pushed around by this bottom lane, by Peach moving into that bot side jungle, but it was in the team fights where they really just straight up outperformed Giant X. That Herald was uh, was really where they cemented their lead. And I liked the draft that was put together here by the side of SK, but of course.